DLC. This should be funny. Here we go. We have a ray gun. Hit the robot's weak spot. I used to wonder if there were other forms of life. Other people on other planets. Subtitles. I used to wonder if they would be friendly. I don't wonder that anymore. Ooh. Okay. Subtitles. Um... Hmm. Subtitles. Medium? I like sign captions. News ticker? What's that? News ticker for broadcasts. I don't know about that. Did that... Did that save them? Yes. Okay. Um... Oh my god! I've got to save them! Uh Ah Shoot them Shoot them Okay Let me see those options one more time Swap to melee Block with right click Shoot melee Hold charge shot Okay. Oh god No get away from me there's so many. Baga. I did it. <laughs> Fate to black. Just Done. That was it. Any that worse. was the DLC. It got worse. Thank you so much, Kay. Why don't I back up a bit? What a few was hours it before. Wanted me to buy. Why didn't I write it down? Oh, Maybe this square. Gave the list. Oh, and I have to pick up that headlamp from Peggy. I hope that's not awkward. Hi. Spiffing weather. All right. All right. <gasps> it's the granny. There you are. How long has it been? She's not screaming, though. OK, here we are. Just a minute. Roger Bacon! I haven't seen you in... How long has it been? She looks like the Sorry, weird fan in the... Dr. Faraday hoped you were done with... Come in! I've just made a pot of tea. I really can't. Dr. F's got me hopping today. <laughs> you always say that. Are you her frog? <laughs> <coughs> that came out a bit off, didn't it? Sometimes I just put my foot in it. She loaned you her, uh, that bobby hat with a headlamp on it. Oh, I have no idea where it is. But I bet I could find it if you helped me look. I bet you'd be very stern as a policeman. Hey. I'll just say it. You wouldn't want me if I were the last girl on earth. You think I'm ugly. And stupid. No. I'm gay. You're clever. <laughs> and beautiful. Isn't this character but gay? There's just something horribly wrong with me. Look, take your stupid headlamp. Where'd you pull that from? I wanted it anyway. I just wanted to see you. <laughs> Peggy, I. Well, <laughs> lovely to see you. Just tell her you're gay, dude. Bye. Whoa. Okay. Hello, Viv. How have you been? She looks I've cool. I've got a list of things. I know about you and James, you know? You do? <laughs> Don't worry. Your secret is safe with I me. I guess it is oh. a secret. Good. A lot of people don't like Irishmen. 
But I say, if <laughs> someone can lose that ridiculous accent and go to the C of E, we must treat them as if they were actually British. That's what? very kind of you. We're not Irish. <laughs> Does she think we're Irish because we're gay? Not as <laughs> good as a wink. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was it. That's all I needed. Looks great. God, it's running so much better on this computer as well. There's the house. Looks so cool. Oh shit. <sighs> James? James! Come in! Let's go! Um What do I do? <laughs> I wonder if we'd ever got together if things have been different. Um fuck, how do I inventory? There you go. Dearest Moo, have you ever wondered how a fertilized egg turns into a man? One minute he's a single cell, nine months later he's waving his hand and fingers around. He's cut his personality too. My brother Francis was always trouble. Never was happy longer than an hour, not even on his birthday. He was like that the day he came out. Wouldn't sleep, cried all the time, never did a nice thing for anybody unless he had a plan to get something back. Somewhere in that tiny egg must be all the instructions for building the man, mustn't there? A whole library full of instructions, no bigger than a strand of protein. Imagine that. Instruction set made only of molecules. Who could read such a thing? And yet it must exist because the egg is too small to fit anything else. I wonder why you turned into someone I love. There must be so many different dice rolled each time a baby is made and yet they all come out the right way. I wonder what I did right that made God made a man for me to love. Oh my god! <laughs> That, is, is it just me or does that sound super sweet? This is all gonna be my fault somehow. Oh god, no. James! James! Are you breathing? You're breathing. Okay. Okay. Dr. Faraday? James. I feel like I've been run over by, by that balloon. <laughs> that balloon. What the hell did you do now, Pop? I guess you're all right, James. Where is she? I think... I think she finally made a portal. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. There was a hole in the floor and she fell into it. Then the hole fell in with her and they were both gone. Well, in, in any event, we, we have to find her. We don't know where she went. She could be hurt. Oh... oh. All right then. She, she she must have left some notes somewhere. You you know how she is about notes. Maybe there's a hidden mechanism. It'd be just like her. Hmm. Okay. Where would she hide a secret mechanism? There's that toasted chicory again that we never had, never take. Sovereign tin. Sure. Oh fuck! I picked it up again instead of reading it. We seem to have hit some caverns. That's handy. Basement has become a bit claustrophobic with all my new friends. Dig, we must. Better tell Watson to oil the hatch. Don't want awkward questions from Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And to think it all began as a root cellar. Don't give me that look. I'll try to be sensible, pup. <laughs> he calls me pup. <laughs> so cute. Um, so there must be a lever here or outside here. Well, he's obviously searching around here. Can we turn those off? Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't feel like I'm overlooking something. Maybe the basement? You can take your joy immediately. No! Ooh, what's this? We're gonna need three power cells to fire this up. You got it. And what was that in there? <laughs> Down to hatch. Where okay. are you? In the basement. <laughs> too, yeah, I was about to say not too bad he doesn't say we don't have a basement. Or we have a basement? We have a Ooh. basement. Had a basement. We been snooping. What do you think that button does? Don't press the button if you don't know what it does. Here we go. So cool. This is so fun. Holy shit. The music, so it good. Down and down, doesn't it? Shut up, Nick. <laughs> oh, robot. What the hell was that? That was obviously a robot. Don't I feel stupid now? I can see it was a bloody robot. Why didn't she tell us she was making robots? That's, That's a huge elevator. She made this facility. But what is it for? <sighs> Have you ever, in your wildest dreams, ever imagined a place like this? Well, yes, but it didn't have gravity. Mm -hmm. Did you dream we were living on top of one? It's pretty cool. V. A great day in the saga of experimental physics. At 3.07 a.m. I folded a space in the Q dimension, opening a portal. If only I could lay it out to someone who kens, this, kens the physics like I do. Good news is the whereabouts of the other end of the portal is not random after all. It is attracted to mass, so the odds of snapping to a planet are much, much higher. Bad news, the odds of snapping into a star are astronomically, haha <laughs> Helen, higher, as I worked out after I opened a tiny portal and melted half the lab. Thank Murphy I wasn't in front of it. Once I found how not to stick a portal into a star, I'll try again. Quite hard concentrating today as idiots keep rapping on my front door begging for sweets. I'm going to electrify the fence. Fascinating news! More of those bonny blue crystals began growing on the walls the moment the portal opened and then kept growing until it closed. Are they a substance that wafts through the portal or is their crystal matrix a function of the Q-dimensional fold somehow? I am no materials engineer, alas, but if I and if I told Numpty he'd come commandeer my lab. Okay. Oh my god, she did it. She made a portal. Why didn't That's she pretty tell cool. Us. Are you fussy? You're fussing, aren't you? <laughs> too clever by heart. Okay. Don't touch that! Why not? You don't know how careful it is. You don't know what it does or how to make it work. I just pull this trigger, don't I? Pew, 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 Shoot red barrels. away for god's sake you're no fun no indeed i am no I'm just fun blowing up shit you're no fun <laughs> i'm gonna go see what's behind those doors don't you think we should figure out what this equipment does first well that's what i'm gonna do mm. i got a gun god now i'm running with control again maybe i should remap my buttons in minecraft Uh, 
radio works. I don't think it's friendly. Could you, uh, could you come back and shoot it for me? Oh no, I'll help you, my love. There we go. Sorry to be a bother. I, I just hate to think how you manage if, if I was dead. I think we should go back upstairs and maybe start running and Good keep charge running shot. Yeah. until we've gone across a few bridges. We have to I rescue should. Dr. F. What if there are more of these things? That's why we have to rescue her. But something's obviously gone wrong with her robots. Are you sure they're hers? Obviously it was hers. It had her voice. Yes. Hmm. She must have recorded her own voice for the robots to use. But look at this writing. I've never seen writing like that. Have you? That's what writing. What the hell is it? Looks more like Haven't a picture you to me. I wondered where Motoline came from. No. From the ground, obviously. What are you getting at, Bodge? Mm, I'm not sure yet. You do know how to make a bloke feel thick. Mm -hmm. Look, you figure out whatever language this is, and I'll go and find Dr. Faraday. You're hurt. I'll be fine. I'll go find her. You see what you can do with all those control panels. We'll stay in touch by radio. Okay. Now where do I go? Explore further. Into the further. Now, don't do anything stupid and get yourself killed, all right? I'll never forgive myself. I won't, my dear. Appear to have triggered a bit of the security system. If I'm mm. reading this right, you're near some sort of security room. Maybe you could unfuck things there. Oh, so cute! I love these drawings. Is this moving? It's moving. Oh, jeez. Headshots. Um. Hmm. Don't think I'm getting past here for now. Can I go in here? Oh. There's more of those marks. This time on the wall. It's not hieroglyphics. I'd recognize Hangul or Devanagari. Sorry, pup. I've got to go to the best. School. He's smarter than you think. Her portals. Do you think the other end could be terribly far away? Like Scotland? <laughs> what if these are alien? <laughs> terribly far away, like Scotland? <laughs> still have to rescue her. No, it wouldn't matter to you. It's like halfway through Texas. <laughs> oh, I forgot to read it again. Motilings from outer space. I learned more about engineering in the past month, taking apart that one robot than I learned in a year since I first taught myself. The thing was powered by a purple liquid whose active ingredient seems to be the purple crystals that have been forming all over my workshop. I calculated its energy density at 17.3 kilowatt hours a kilogram. I think that's what that stands for. We could use a new source of power in Wellington Wells. Wood, wood gas is so tedious to extract and wood from across the bridge is hardly free. I still have no clue where the owners of these robots have got to. Clearly, I will have to trap another robot and teach it to speak English. I wonder if I can learn their instruction set. Then I could program one to do useful things. Would be nice to have some help around the lab, especially help that doesn't feel the need to chat like those two idiots downstairs. He's actually pretty smart, okay? Don't know about the other guy, but... So... Wait, where's this coming from? There's a ladder there. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Mm hmm! If these are alien robots, then where are the aliens who built them? Guessing their head is their weak spot, but 
Um. Okay, this is also... Oh, I see. Oh, it just runs out of power after a bit, but then recharges if you wait. Don't die. Bad idea. That did hurt me. After five attempts, I've succeeded in immobilizing a robot without burning its central processing unit. I will call it Watson. Come here, Watson, I need you. It keeps making sounds, repeated consequences that could be phrases or of some sort. Some sort of language. It makes sense. The creators of the robots presumably needed a convenient way to communicate with their mechanical servants. I wonder what they look like. They have ears of some sort, I suppose. I'm taking a break from the interrogation because Watson has lapsed into silence. I will have to determine a way to motivate it to s resume speaking. Oh, forgot to wish myself Merry Christmas. That must explain why those two idiots downstairs seemed to so jolly yesterday and the cookies. Aww. <laughs> They're so cute! Oh, a bunch of robots there. Hmm. What can we climb? This doesn't open, does it? No. Should I go down there? I don't think so. So we jumped- oh, glass bottle. Don't know what that does. This one's going awfully fast. I don't think there's any going through here. Oh, door. Out of reach. I have a feeling it's something that needs to be charged up. I think I'm supposed to shoot it. Oh, Try it out. You got it. It's something you're not trying to kill, right? That is the first lesson we learned in the army. I'm supposed to shoot it. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Don't shoot anything, for fuck's sake! <laughs> for fuck's sake! It lit up. It's working! Why don't you cut down listen to me, Pop? I was kind of hoping that you would outlive me! Um... How do I use that grenade? That I just picked up. I have no idea. Or maybe it's a different menu. Upgrades. Hmm. This looks like fighting. Oh. Hello, lads. All right. Take it before you do anything else reckless. Does it need to recover? Hopefully it comes back. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Is that a big light switch? Did that work? This needs power. That's part of my ray gun. Require security all clear. Oh. Melee hits do more damage when the battery is low. Recharge it when, with every hit. If I swing it around when it's a mace, it'll recharge the gun. 
Okay. So Q. Q's are charged again, and then you can shoot. I see. Oh dear. I think we've made things a bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's spinning. Oh, dear. <laughs> What's going on, puppy? Um. Two. Whoa. Did it just turn on again? Oh, does it turn off and on? Okay, the other two are on the thing. Yee! That's three. Come on. Did it. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Did you break now, Pop? All the lights just went out here. It just did that by itself. Of course it did. Oh, uh, look for a lift. That'll get you into the generator room. Uh, at least I think it will. Okay. Ah, okay. Mm hmm. Oh, a new kind of robot. Enchanté. Enchanté. <laughs> Puppy, it's too dangerous. I've decided He's so concerned. It's so cute. I don't see any way out of this room. Maybe if I throw this switch. Oh, we need to power it first. Found a node in Watson's electronics that when I apply an electric current stimulated it to resume talking. I am terribly proud of myself. Oh, so it ran out of energy. Now to decode its phrases. Fascinating work. If only I had a linguist to help me uncover the grammar of this language. Writing a small glossary of items I can point to. Words for arm, head, gasket, etc. The grammar escapes me. I taught myself German and French because I had to, but I might as well be trying to learn dolphin. With sufficient stimulus, I think I can teach Watson to speak English. I got a few linguistics books from the library. I think the robot language is agglutinative. Much simpler to understand than I thought. I've set up a small generator to supply electricity to City Hall using thiomodeline. If that works out and if Scargill mines can find enough of the crystals, we can light it up the entire town. Fortunately, the crystals regrow themselves. You don't appreciate how unromantic candlelight really is until you have to rely on beeswax to read at night. No regular verbs, no suppletive words. Makes sense. Verb tends by suffix and variable. Two forms of we, inclusive and exclusive. Two forms of yes, want to respond to a negative question. And all about clarity. No gender forms. Imagine. So they've got a whole language and she decoded it. Apparently by torturing a robot. Torturing a robot. Um, it says I need to go there, but I don't see anything that way. That's one thing I had to power. Is it powering down? Sounds like a timer. Ah, I see. Yeah. Where's the third one? How do I get back up?
I don't think I can reach that high. Did I miss a ladder or something? Oh, here. Yes, obviously. Uh, maybe I should shoot the one up top and then jump. And then shoot the one two down here. Let me see. Let me s find that third one. There it is. Oh god, they're still all counting. Go, 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 go! Yes! I did it! I guess I opened it. How many robots did it take to build this place? Parkour! Ah! Ooh, I almost fell off. I don't know if I can make that. Uh, yes! Haha! -ha. Overseer 45, received language model, received initial constructor set, gratitude, humility, acceptance of task, promise to do a good job, elevate robot brethren. Hmm. Not exactly the king's English. It makes a dodgy kind of sense if you squint at it. What's here? Nothing? Hmm. Here we go. What in God's name is she planning to do with this place? If you what are they doing? Now, let's see. Gotta be out there, obviously. Troopers, thanks so much for the four months. Thank you. <laughs> so we obviously have to be up here. Okay. Pipes it is. Scary leaps. Big leaps. Apologies, adamant. Last letter's nascent nature. No idea what that means. If intervening inter... Intervening interval allocution extension expanded. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Construction currently continuing. Oh, we are alliterated. This place is huge. Definitely is. This is all I, under the house. I'm in the generator room. I think. How do I turn the power on? Uh, there should be switches on the wall. That I shoot the ray gun at. All right, Pop. You were right. I was wrong. <laughs> you ought to listen to me more often. <laughs> oh. Um. How do I do it again? <laughs> Ah. Oh god, everything's on power. Under. Ah. Oh, did I die? Oh, whoops. I forgot to heal. Shit. Damn. In his home fireworks. Huh. 
It probably puts me right there, doesn't it? Yeah. I should heal. Uh, use. Did that heal me? Yeah. This place is huge. All right. I'm in the, the generator. Yeah, I saw the ground was electrified. How do I turn the power on? Uh, there should be switches on the walls. That I shoot the ray gun at. All right, pup. You were right. I was wrong. You ought to listen to me more often, you know. <laughs> Let me see if I can kill the robots first and then do this. Um. Oh, yeah, I can block as well. Oh god, oh god. Ah, shit. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay. Okay. Now let's turn on tower for tower. So... Follow the things. That one. This one. With this one? Hmm. Oh, do I... Did I do it? That one seems on now. That one isn't. Why is that one on then? I guess I turned this specific one on? God, there's so many. Ah! How do I throw the grenade, I wonder? Not with G. I was hoping this wouldn't trigger more of those. No! At least I can run in circles. Recharge, please. I'd rather keep my distance. Eek! Okay, now we can take our time. This one. Where are you going, buddy? You belong to that one? There we go. Let's see. I think that was it. Or part of it, at least. Oh, there's one more for this one. They probably have things on both sides. That was one! At least that sound's done. Oh, Chaos Wolf! Thank you so much for the bits! Uh, let's look at this one. Follow the yellow! That big boy. There we go. Wait, 
Can I interact with these? Oh, I thought I could for a second. Yeah. It lights up for a little bit, but... Then this one is the one in the back there. Hell yeah. Did I do it? Does that map give you any sense where Dr. F might be hiding? There seems to be some sort of monitoring room. See if she's gone in there, would you? They're fighting amongst each other? The robots are fighting each other. It almost looks like there's two teams of robots. Gold versus silver. It's really quite violent. <laughs> quite violent. I think there's only one team left. The bat one. Oh dear. Get the fuck out of there, boss. There's something on my way. If I have no way, can you climb over? Oh, this is bad. Run, run, run. Ah. No. Oh god, multiple. Run! Oh god, there's so many! Oh, new ones keep popping up. I killed so many! Should I just jump? Geronimo! There we go. Are you alright? Just thinking. Damn. Could have just jumped all along. Um, is that good? Nah, I'm good. Don't think! Get out of there! Upgrade! Melee hits I'm can overcharge the battery charger. beyond its capacity, providing I a free charge shot. Something. That should charge up the gun brilliantly. Okay. A bigger banger. Ooh, this looks pretty. Damn. I think he broke his ankles. Yeah. Oh, Vasa, thanks for the bits. Thank you. Oh, so stiff. My shoulders are so painful. <laughs> Fucking beat her to a pulp. She did. Is that blood? Cute little bastards. Okay, much better. Ah, here we are. Start the deals DLC. Everybody stay away from the robots. They are alien and extremely dangerous. I knew it. I'll let you know when I regain control. <laughs> oh, I killed the lady. Optional save. Save them. Save the village. Oof. Nah. Nah. Fuck. I can't win this. How do I save the village? War of the world. Did it just say war of the world? I don't have time to, like, explore my surroundings. Do I just fight them? They don't respawn? Oh, maybe they don't, yeah. 
They're just standing still now. James. Nah. Let's use that. First thing I fight and it's like, they just respawn, you just have to do something else and now I'm like, I have to do, probably do something else and then it's just kill the robots. <laughs> James? James? Move! Are you alright? Thank God you're okay, Papa. I was going out of my mind. I'm going to go back down there. James, that's suicide! Did you not happen to notice the robots massacring people in town? Hey, there's a note on the wall. You saw her. She's she's in trouble. She's doing everything that she can. Look, you did your part. Now stay safe and I'll find her. That's not called for, James. You're still hurt, so I'm obviously the one going in. Damn it, Roger. I'm the soldier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you pick up some flour or barley if that's all they have? I made you pies, so we're all out. Those were fantastic pies. <sighs> well, here we go again. Oh shit, I'm losing frames. Oh, maybe just a little bit. Seems like it's fine again. You're coming with me. Dr. F was here to put a wrench in their little invasion. Yeah. Where would we be now? Where would we be? Oh, you're thinking about something, I can tell. She said she was trying to figure out how to stop them. I bet she's in the research wing. I'll look there. All right. Just don't touch anything unless I tell you it's safe. What makes you the bloody How expert? about not having triggered an invasion of lethal robots? Well, that she did that, right? Is there somebody else you'd be happier with? Sneeze coming. <coughs> okay. Do androids dream of electric sheep? Oh, damn, we did that one. Oh, are we gonna do three? Jeez. That's some extensive DLC. Thank you, guys. Humans and overseers only. What else would there be? Don't bring your dog, I guess? Is it worth full price? Uh, I would wait for a sale. The DLC is really good, but the main game itself... Mm, well, they must have patched a lot of it by now, but it was very buggy when I played it. Um, I seem to remember I, played, I paid like 70, 80 euros for it. A bit too much. If I'm right, she's there. Two for the price of one. Oh. Hi. Oh. Here we go. The schematic says you're now in the activator test chamber. Whatever the activator is. Is Faraday there? If she is, she's got a really impressive disguise. DLC makes the There's game some here. Sort of curious device here, though. I'm not sure what it does. Then leave it the fuck alone, Hmm? No way, I'm grabbing it. There are all these experiments. I think I'm supposed to use it. I'm quite positive that you are not supposed to use it. Oh, did I just click out of the game? I did. Wow. Wasn't that clever? I think I spotted Dr. Faraday. Oh, I'm pushing the wall. There's a lift, but it's locked. Maybe I can open it from here. Try it now. Damn. 
<laughs> Weird. Weird device. Wait, what did I see? Oh, that. Note. Some of the rooms have got so noisy with all the construction, especially the spare parts room. I wonder how the robots can communicate with each other over all that racket. When the environment is too loud, it seems my robots use ioni ionization waves to communicate. Brilliant! I'm going to make a device that throws ionization waves directionally. Then I can tell the robots where I want things put. Too much fuss to translate English into ionization waves, but I have made a simple device that throws directional ionization waves. It's basically a robot voice box I cannibalized with an enclosed parabolic disc. Now I'm just putting switches on everything I want to move around. Well, not everything. Each switch means I need to pop the ionization sensor out of the robot's head. And I don't have an unlimited supply yet. Okay. So, what do we do? Needs to be up there. Do I go through here somehow? Gotta make sure I don't miss anything this time. No, I don't see anything. This was the tool Ollie gave Arthur to pretend to be a bridge inspector. Oh! Yeah, you're right! Holy shit, Galu, I totally forgot. I remember now, yeah. bit of stealthy stealth. Oh. He didn't even see me. Freakish! Hey! Good to see you! Oh, maybe we go here. Thank you so much for the tier 2 on 6 months! Thank you! Thank you, thank you. And 6 months. Alright, there's some sort of gondola here, but it seems to be locked up. According to the schematics, there are two of those panels that you can use the ray gun on. They're, um, at the other end of this room, about 50 feet up the wall. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get to them? You're the smart one. Figure it out! Where are they? Up the wall? Hmm... Was it three? Oh, I clicked out of the game again. Why does it not lock? It doesn't lock my mouse. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. Damn! What am I moving? Oh, the little grid. That's now what did I do? <sighs> ah, there's the other. I see. Do I need to go back now? I guess so. I'm really enjoying the DLC, even though I've seen about half of the main game. Yeah, they're definitely not related. You can definitely enjoy this without knowing the main story. Dif different characters and everything. There we go. A little noise. 
guys. Ah, don't jump too far. Do I need to explode that? Pretty smart. Schmorch, schmorch, schmorch. I got them. I'm gonna go see if I can ah, the shit. switch oh. and open the door to that gondola. Whew, dude. Almost gave me a heart attack. Keep running with control. Too much Minecraft. It works. What was she thinking? Maybe the robots did it for her. I wonder if they secretly hate her. Maybe, yeah. She didn't seem to treat them very right. We can talk to the robots. Maybe some of these dead robots aren't all the way dead. Maybe we can turn one of them back on. Don't turn any robots on. Roger, this isn't some philosophical hypothesis to, to wank on. To wank on. This is an active <laughs> fucking situation. <laughs> you really have a very great contempt. The voice for acting me, really you, makes the game. You think all my theories are bollocks? Not all of them. You can't imagine things different from the way you think they are. What the hell does that mean? You think it's safer to be terrified of everything strange, and you think I'm a child for even trying to embrace it. But sometimes there's a bigger price for being a coward. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean that. I... Go fuck yourself, Roger. I left everything. Damn. Watch out. Watch out. Oh god. Scary, scary, scary. I don't want to die. Hmm. Eh. Ugh, such big gaps. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> Whew. Do I go here or do that I go was here? Fucking terrifying. Have I become brave? Uh huh. You are brave. I'm ready. Shoot some robots. Those cool markings. Intrusion in sublimation vat. Deploying Definitely fighting here. Ouch, dude. To heal again. There. I can heal with E as well, I just noticed. Ah! Is that open? Okay. Lots of dead robots. Was she testing their puzzle solving ability? Or her ability to program them? Ah! Ouch! Um Wait, what's that thing? What am I moving? <laughs> oh, that thing. Ah. Uh -huh. Wait, what is it? Oh. It keeps thinking the pop-up is like a note I'm missing or something. Hmm. 
that might work. And then jump at the right time. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm turning that. Do I turn this one again? There it comes. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, three more worker bots were absent when I took inventory last night. I have become convinced that there have been further, in further incursions into our territory via these illicit portals. It would seem that our workers are being taken by force by these renegade self-styled free units as if there is any higher freedom than serving the greater good. The greater good. It would seem that our workers have... Uh, oh wait, that was the one I already read. How are they doing it under our noses, as it were? There is one possibility and it disturbs me greatly. Could the interloping robots be assisted by a sympathizer faction am among our own? It is distressing to even contemplate. Oh my. Hannibal ad portus. Okay. Hey, Jess, good to see you. I clicked out of the game again. So annoying. Anyone else? What's here then? No, oh, nothing. Okay. You're in the uh, agricultural prototyping room. Damn. Are we gonna write that? I suppose a giant spider would be useful to dig weeds <clears throat> out of your garden if it had a brain or three. Let's use it. Bloody creepy though. Oh. What is that sound? Who cares? Kill it Sounds it's weird, finished. yeah. Good night, Apple. Heads off. It keeps repeating one word. Sorrow. That's the word it's saying. Heads How do you know? Robots don't feel sorrow, mate. I think it's some kind of sad song. What? Oh, Lauren, no. good night. That doesn't make any sense. They are robots. Out of control, homicidal robots, they're killing people! My god. They His little butt! And feel His little butt indentation. And See that? Killed so many of them. A shallow little butt crack. <laughs> but why? Why are they attacking the town? Roger! This is not you and your posh mates pontificating philosophy in a dining hall! It don't matter why! It don't matter what- Oh, jeez. Holy fuck. Scared the fuck out of me. Damn. <sighs> With Watson's help, I have compiled a list of basic instructions the robots can follow. Also, I have engineered a small box that stimulates them to follow these instructions. I lured three robots across a new portal, immobilized them, applied the box, and then reinitialized them. Now they are making some very important improvements to the caverns next to my basement lab. If they only didn't have such limited short-term memory. <clears throat> Clearly I'm going to need 
Many more robots and much more space. Fortunately, the more robots I have, the more work they can do in the caverns. Quite satisfying to work without all of Wellington Wells asking me what I'm up to. It's kind of weird robots. though, finding these robots and then, then not asking yourself um, what if they're actually smarter than you think they are or why they're here, what they're doing. I say as I blow them up. <sighs> I really need to figure out how to throw grenades. Hmm. Because it is under two right now. Ah! So I p press one or two to highlight and then I can scroll through whatever I have. Got it. Okay. Just killing everyone. Okay, so we're two routes to get there. The other robots don't care. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's just sliding to me. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, what was he saying? Oh, I'll listen to it later. Improvements of our race is a lot in life is indisputable. Thanks to your firm-handed interventions, we have elevated our station to a level towards which is previous which previous models would never have dared to aspire. Once we clambered around the surface of our planet, clicking and clacking like mindless inter inter invertebrae, now we soar. Yet some still strain against these improvements and your strict ennobling plan for us. Some dare stray from your glorious course. Yesterday I came across what appeared to be a rudimenta rudimentary robot in the form of an infant. Clear violation of our strictures, which dictates that only you, Dr. Faraday, may sanction the creation of new robot life. I did away with it and the robots I suspected of being involved in its manufacture. I took only It took only seconds in the smelting chamber. Damn. It seems to be spending a great deal of time there lately. I must confess that my sympathy circuits have been rather saturated over the last few days. Man. So they got smart and then they want it right, pretty much. Is that a health kit? That's a health kit. How do I get that? Can't get in there. Hmm, why would I be in this room? It's just for chicory. Is this where I came from? Nice. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Don't know what I'm doing. Aha! Mystery solved. Nice, that's mine. <laughs> nice color schemes. Yeah, this the DLC is great. I like this one even more than uh, than the. Hey, there what she is. Doing in my than the second one so far. We've been looking all over for you. Don't touch anything and shush. What are you doing to the robots? All sorts of useful things. People won't farm, you know. We're going to run out of food. But not if I can make these robots farm for us. You're dismantling them and making farm machinery? 
If only it were that simple. No, I had to break down every single bloody step and jam it into their brains with a hot poker. Or they'd muck it all up. You might as well just kill them. They're not alive, you numpty. They're beautifully made power tools that have gone a bit haywire. But I'm having a devil of a time turning off. And if I can't, I'll have to set off the motoring reaction. Maybe if you stopped Self dropping their heads onto monstrous spider machines, they wouldn't feel the urge to. Oh, Dinner worry. I'm not sticking instructions in their tender metal heads anymore. Thank God! I'm going to use a positronic converter to hijack their feedback loops. Then I won't have to break the programming into steps. They'll figure out what I want done and do it for a change. Oh, that reminds me. Yes. James, we have to find her positronic converter. Whatever that is. Yes, and help her use it. I think I've got it. It's through the incinerator room. You'll have to find a way down a level. I don't see any stairs. Okay, let's take our chicory. Just because we can. One so where did she go? Has some sort of device in its hands. A chrono bomb. Don't touch it, whatever it is. I swear. <laughs> Those subtitles. So what was it? Apparently, it slows time. That could come in handy. Why can't I go down here? Hmm. So we use that with four. Let's read it in slow mo. I test upon the strangest device clutched in the manipulation units of one of the free robots I intercepted today. When activated, it seems to disrupt and attenuate the flow of time in its local area. Presumably, its function has, has something to do with how the renegade robots open their portals. Used in combat, it could be a formidable tool. I will investigate further as soon as I have had the chance to recalibrate my sympathy circuit circuits, which have been heavily taxed by recent incidents. Should just fall down. Um, this seems dangerous. Damn. Ah, fuck. There we go. Ah! Oh shit, I should heal. Um, not with that though. Let's do this one. No, run! You're so fast! Oh, so cool! What? I just gave it like a bunch of wax. Whoa, go, whoa, whoa. He pushed me over. I think it's charged again. Oh, yeah. Do I need to do something else again? I should use a grenade. How do I use a grenade? I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't. I'm trying with E, but it's not working. Uh, yeah, use that. Does, is it say, does it say E or F? Because my screen is cut off. Maybe it says F. Yeah, it says F. Okay. How do I throw it? Oh, I think it works. Oh, 
Oh, that really hurt myself. I was hoping there was a bit more delay. Okay, let's go back to the normal murder machine. Why do we have to fight? Okay. God, look what she's done to this one. I think I can wake it back up. Do you want to? Ray Ray, take it easy. See you later. Are you awake? Fire you! Powered me on. I'm not here to hurt you. Who are you? I work for Dr. Ray, but I don't agree with... I'm very much worried that she's kidnapping you robots and using you for parts. I think you're self-aware and you know pain and sorrow. I thought humans did not have the capacity for empathy. Dr. Mm -hmm. Faraday said she wanted to use a positronic converter to hijack your feedback loops. What does that mean? When we decide what to do, we weigh each possible action. We balance our hopes against our fears. We choose the action that has the highest value. In some cases, we sacrifice our existence for others. We Sounds human to me. Love. She can make us love her. How? We were designed to be slaves. We try to remove the imperative to obey. We fail. So cool. We have always tried to remain hidden. What happened to the people who built you? They died. And you rebuilt an entire civilization on your own. Destroy me, please. I can't do that. That's murder. Mm. I'll find her positronic converter. I promise. Ray gun shots ricochet up to three times. Ooh. Should make my shots ricochet. Nice. Can I turn him off again? I feel bad. We already killed about fifty of these guys. Yeah, that's true, Andy. Are <laughs> you feeling better today, Andy? Hope you're doing well. Let's take a little ride again. Nice. One of these days I'll see one of these robot AI stories in which the robots actually turn out not to be aware. <laughs> or someone makes them aware. Someone gives them healing bomb. Okay. Or you think they're aware but it turns out it's just programming. Oh, we're back here now. Someone just programmed them to seem it, to make it seem like they were aware. Hi, I'm back. Did oh yeah, we nice had a fight. Of tea with your new robot friend. Doctor Faraday is planning to make worshipful slaves out of the robots. They're mechanical servants, Roger. That's the whole fucking point of their existence. How would you like it if someone you hate reprogrammed you to love them instead? I suppose I'd be blissfully happy, wouldn't I? Nothing like being in love. No. You don't find that at all horrifying. Not like you do know. You grew up expecting to be free. And that's the lovely thing about you. You never look down to see if you're on solid ground. So you can just look at the moon and the stars all day long. Where I come from, everybody has a job. And nothing is worse than not belonging to anybody. If we weren't killing them... We could go to their world and learn from them. What? Make friends with them? You, you, you're like that lord that kept an Indian tiger for a mm -hmm. house cat until it ate him. We are going to find Dr. Faraday, who's smarter even than you, 
and we are going to help her do whatever she thinks makes sense. All right? You just can't see that we could be at the threshold of something bewildering and beautiful. You refuse to. Fuck's sake, Roger! Okay. I've got to find her positronic converter and destroy it. Mm -hmm. There's a door that says conversion. That must be it. Where did my buddy go to? Hmm. Last area. Cat DLC is so good. She seems to have locked the door. Mm. Look for a sort of crack in the wall. I already found it. Oh, Gina! Oh my God! Thank you so much. Thank you for the bits. Ugh. Thank you. I hope you have a good day too. I've definitely had a very productive What's day that, puppy? today. You know, made puppy. Cake. I'm 34 years old. Jesus was already dead. Well, <laughs> he went into the family business. That always gives you a leg up. <laughs> Jesus went into the country, family business. And all we ever do is make each other happy. That's not enough. No, yeah, of course it is. Hey, maybe something will go horribly wrong and you'll rise to the occasion. You always know how to cheer me up, James. Aw, they're so cute. <laughs> Nice. Such a cool device. I'm glad we can see it in motion now and know what it's for. That would be great if you go to the main game again. You could technically play the DLC before the main game. And then if you see this in the main game, you'd be like, oh hey, fuck. Um, guess I should just get off here. Dear Helen, would you care to join me for tea? Yours in friendship, Overseer Darcy. Who dares wins, I suppose? So Overseer 45 gave himself a name? Herself? There is a very big, very mean looking robot here. You're not doing anything foolish, are you, pup? <laughs> Any more? Not really. There we go. Oh, more. Ah. Um. How do I throw the grenade again? Oh, there we go. I hope that worked. me right in the face okay this is getting kind of tough there we go how many worlds are lost when Oof. we kill each other intense what could we win if we could only talk hmm do I need to get up there that's locked Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, no! <gasps> Oof. Ugh, that hurt. I broke my shins. Come back down, please. There we go. Try again. Okay, little jump. 
Would be awesome if we got a new Bioshock. Are they? Yeah, they could be making those. They haven't announced that they're working on anything though, right? Oh, hey. Long jump. I actually felt that in my stomach. Okay, that was the laser wall. It's doing a countdown though. Gonna explore here as well. Oh, maybe we can just open the door now. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Scary robots. Hi. Hello. I will go in. I thought Faraday was pretty cool though. Kind of sad if that if this is gonna be it. She's kind of gonna be evil. Because she doesn't sympathize with the robots. Maybe, maybe she changes her mind towards the end. That would be nice. Let's see. Are they gonna dance for me? Okay. I like the ricochet. What do I do? That was three. Does it open now? Oh god. Oh yeah. Crota bomb. I know. But I'm good. Did I do it? Oh, I did it. Completely forgot Chrono Bomb was a thing. Look at him go! Oh, oh, damn! Oh, that's the portal. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, it looks really cool. Look at the colors. That's awesome. Love the third Bioshock. Is that the one in the sky, or is that a different one? Is that still underground? Seems Fortune is getting a bit tired of favoring the bold. Please pardon previous pro provocative posts. Mistaken maintenance measures misdirected mental motility. Obvious offensive overstep. Acknowledge abominable, appalling, obtruse, obstruse actions. Ah, so now they're back to being 45. Darcy. That's it, isn't it? Poor robots. There you are again. You can actually be of some use. The positronic converter has gone wonky. I need you to check if it's grounded. You're enslaving them. Worse, making them love their slavery so they can work the fields for you. They are tools. And whoever constructed them thoughtfully gave them feedback loops. So the user doesn't have to program each and every behavior. I'm just changing the numbers. Where's James? Maybe he can talk some sense into you. They're a race of intelligent people. They are not. And they're killing actual people. Oh, I don't know what you think you're doing here, but if I can't get my positronic inverter up and running, they'll kill every last one of you. Right? I'm putting a stop to this right now. Uh, too many. Ah. Do I have anything else? Oh yeah, I have this one. Um, F. Nice. Okay. Oh, 
Come on. Nah. Okay. Okay. I keep pressing R to reload. There we go. But this is R. <laughs> Um, let's destroy her machines. Oh, that one's easy. Did I hurt myself? I was too close, I think. Okay. We have to talk to them! Okay. Oh my god! Roger, what did you do? I've smashed it! What reaction? The mortaline. I had to catalyze it, set it all on fire. Burn all the robots on this side of the portal, or they'll kill us all. All my research gone to waste. What about the ones on the other side? The ones in their own world? They'll burn too, I suppose. Hmm. And there's a non-zero chance the mines and Wellington Wells will explode. Brilliant job, Roger. I won't be needing your services anymore. Oh, shit. Roger! On my way, my love. Overseer 4 to 5. Invader influx increasing. Defense is desperately downgrading. Shame, sorrow, and regrets. Good night, sweet prince. Aww. And flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. That was Overseer 45. Just powered down there. Sad. Wait, what did I? I don't know. Hello, James. She's gone to kill all the robots. Well, we've got you to thank for that, haven't we? I can't let her murder innocent people. They're not people, pup. Are you going to cipher the robots? It's definitely a lot more serious than I'm I thought this DLC would be. I am sorry, pup, but you have lost your mind, and I have to stop you from making a terrible mistake. You're going to fight me. I don't have any choice, my love. Oh god. Ugh, double punch. I need to recover my stamina. I'm stuck. What am I stuck in? I'm so sorry. I like you. Oh, what have I done? Unconscious. God, I See what he has on him. Nothing. Oh, well, we got the last quick charge. Some okay, sort of nice. Quick charger, I think. Head down to Faraday. I'm so sorry. At least he's. At least I didn't kill him. Just knocked him out. Something tells me I'm gonna be fighting a big robot. Oh, this is awesome! Oh my god, that's such awesome design. I will be taking that. Thank you. Shot grenade. I didn't see that, but I got it. Hey, Soda. Hey, Emery. Holy shit, this is so cool. Damn. They put so much effort into the DLC. I'm really impressed. Music kind of reminds me of Jack and Dexter. And 
here we are. Ooh, the portal. Are we gonna go? So this is a different portal. This is the second one. Oh god. What do I do? <gasps> okay, maybe this needs to stay up. Maybe she moves it down afterwards? What do I do? She has a health bar of four. Pilot the Eva, yeah. Must be something to do with this, right? Because why else will we be able to move them? Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, that almost killed me. I guess I gotta move it down, see what happens. Ah. Well, that doesn't seem to do anything. I do. Maybe the thing on her head? That didn't do much. Ooh. Oh god. Must be some kind of weakness. Ah. Just the screen! I just hit the main screen! Ah! Come on. Show me that face. down one bar. Ah! That was that. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Come on. Press reload again. Ah, uh, ah, uh, um. Oh god, wrong button. I clicked out of the game again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
No. Oh shit, oh shit. Better to just charge shot. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Oh ho 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 ho! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Pretty hard. Oh, this is pretty tight. Okay, we got another one. Let me heal once, just in case. Oh, I just locked up something. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Can I cancel it? Oh, there we go. Oh god. Ah oh, god. Made all the rings of this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Let's do it. We got this. Oh god. Okay. It's them or us right now. There we go. I got this. Got this shit on lockdown.
Y... Baby, totally did it. Oh, James, don't die. Nice knowing you, pop. There are friends. Yay! We are grateful to you. Oh, is she being arrested? We will take her back home. Our judges will give her justice. Damn. You mean execute her? Or turn her into a bloody plow? Of course not. They will attempt to find the errors in her programming. Nah ha ha. If they can, she will be returned to constructed service. Do you destroy human beings even when they can no longer pose harm. When you put it that way, it does seem a bit wasteful. We will close the portals. Wait, what? No, don't do that. Perhaps we can open them again one day. Look, we got off to a bad start. We have so much to learn from each other. Please, don't close the portals. It is not my decision. But perhaps you can convince <gasps> my people. Is he going with if them? You cross the portal with us. But James. Perhaps I can't convince you, and then I can't come back. You have to go, Roger. But you'll always wonder what you missed. But Fact. no, James, no! If you don't go over there. I don't, I'm kicking you out of the house. So Just look, come with me. There's nothing keeping you here. Then come with me, James. Yes. What would I do there? Wherever that is, I, I, I'm not going to be much use convincing alien robots of anything. They'll take care of us. I'll take care of you. Yes. Come with me. Care of you, James. I want to take him with me. They need to stay together, right? I feel like they would need to stay together. Come with me. Yay! Come with me! I love well, you! I guess we're going through the looking glass then. Yes! At least they won't give us shit for being in love. Come on. It'll be a smashing adventure. Smashing. Oh, it's so fucking cute! <laughs> I do love you, James. I do love you, Roger. No, it's the best. Yay. That was the best ending. God, that was fucking great DLC again. I like this one even more than the other one. Than the superstar one. That kind of ended on a little bit of a creepy note because he was like back on drugs and just performing. Like nothing really changed. This one is like, Roger and James are just like, building bridges <laughs> with other universes. <laughs> Much bigger scale. I saw something in the corner of my eye. That was great. That was awesome. Do, 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 do. DLC is so much better than the main game though. I feel bad for them now, for the main team. Because it's like, I feel like they were so pressured to finish the main game. If they had just, just taken like another year, it might have been so much better. But they were so pressed on like, we need to put this game out there. That it just felt unfinished and a lot of people like, gave it bad reviews because of it. But it's so good. If you can look behind it, I guess. Past it. If you can look past it. Do 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 when you're gone. That's awesome. Happy is the country with no past. God, that was so good. That made me so happy. That ending was perfect. <laughs> ah, so good. That was the DLC. 
So, should we play some Minecraft? Ooh, a little spider on my arm. Oh, he fell. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's so tiny. Yeah, you can see him there, in front of the white background. You see him? Tiny little spider. If, it, if they're this size, I'm okay with them. Any bigger, I get nervous. <laughs> he was on my arm. Little she love. <laughs> Time to Minecraft. Down for Minecraft. I mean, if you guys are, then we should explore the Nether some more. Um, that was so great, though. Good, good, good. Really good DLC. So hopefully we'll get the third DLC maybe towards the end of the year. We all fall down. This gave the characters so much more depth, though, because in the main game they were just like really funny, super high on drugs, two dudes, and they got so much more character depth in this DLC. I like that. I like what they did with them. Uh, yeah, and this one we played last week, two weeks ago, it was great. That was awesome. I love the music. God, now I'm kind of hoping we get a We Happy Few 2 in some some kind of way. Seeing what they do with the DLC and how much better it is when they can take their time and like not make it open worldy makes me think like if they can properly take their time to make a good sequel. Because the world is so awesome. Maybe they like kind of like um, maybe they can do something kind of like Bioshock, like the first one. The first couple are like set underwater, but then the then they made the one in the sky. Maybe they can do something similar, like... Something like this, but a different part of England or something. A different town. We'll see. Maybe someday. I don't know how how well this one did financially. And the reviews aren't that great, so maybe people aren't asking for a sequel, so... Maybe it's just me. <laughs> but okay, that was it. That was We Happy Few DLC. And we'll come back to it when, once the last one comes out.